Good afternoon. At the outset of this unprecedented collective challenge, I pledge to keep you updated about local actions we're taking to keep our community as safe and stable as possible, both during this health and economic crisis and once we emerge on the other end. As you may know, this week we took actions aimed at preventing residential and commercial evictions and lease terminations during the state of emergency. Today, I'd like to announce measures we're taking at the city of Gresham in an effort to help small businesses weather this storm. As you know, in Gresham, we have worked exceptionally hard over the years to create vibrant business districts and help entrepreneurs of every background and walk of life open up their businesses in our city. These local business owners help create our vibrancy, our culture, and our deep connective tissue. They step up to sponsor community events, Little League, and many school programs. And right now, they're at great risk. While small businesses operate with razor thin margins, they know how to gear up for seasonal ebbs and flows in business and weather normal economic storms. But nobody is set up to withstand the challenge they currently face, a completely unexpected and unprecedented closure of business for an uncertain but prolonged period of time. As a community and a nation, we will emerge on the other end of this challenge. But if we want our favorite coffee shops, restaurants, diners, delis, and brew pubs to be there with us on the other side, we need to take additional immediate actions to help them. While we advocate for additional actions of the state and federal levels to help our local businesses meaningfully bridge the gap, we can and will take actions locally to assist as well. Today, the city of Gresham is rolling out the following emergency assistance program for our small businesses. We are implementing a business emergency grant program funded with $400,000. While resources last, one-time grants are available first come, first serve to eligible small businesses with the Gresham storefront at $1,000 per employee up to $10,000 per business. Please check out our web page at greshamoregon.gov slash smallbusinessassistance for eligibility criteria. The direct link will also be in this post. We'll start taking applications for these funds at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, March 24th. Second, we are announcing the creation of an ad hoc team of City Hall staffers who will act as a small business support technical assistance team. These are talented professionals who will become familiar with the maze of state and federal assistance opportunities and help guide our local businesses as they access those services. They can offer suggestions and ideas and assist with the completion of forms and applications. Think of them like caseworkers helping navigate a complicated uh, support network. Once again, details about this program are available on our webpage at greshamoregon.gov. While we are doing everything in our power to marshal every local resource available to aid our residents and businesses, we recognize that the scope of need is even greater. Once again, we desperately need state and federal action, so encourage your legislators, the governor, and your members of Congress and senators to approve that assistance. Also, Remember that you too can be a part of the solution by helping these businesses now through takeout orders, purchasing of gift cards uh, to redeem when things get back to normal, and supporting these businesses as much as possible while strictly adhering to the social distancing guidance that we've all been given. Once again, thank you for being the best residents you could possibly be and the best city that there is. We will get through this, but it's gonna take patience and it's gonna take all of us working together, but things will get back to normal at some point. And the actions that we take now will get us there just as soon as we possibly can. Please share our videos so we can get as much information out as possible. And as always, I pray that you stay safe and healthy. God bless.